torsion, twisting the knife, and then I can pop it open right along some of its sort of natural margins so I'm not likely to perforate one of these gonads so it can kind of come out nice and clean and easy for me. This is its teeth. There's five of them in this really ornate process called Aristotle's lantern. They compress this ring around the back of it. They can sort of express it coming out and it's five teeth coming together at one point. Like I told you, every weirdo, freaky, creepy monster you've ever seen in a Hollywood sci-fi film, somebody goes into the ocean, comes back with some things and goes, oh yeah, man, we should get the monster. That, right? Don't have to go too far to go to outer space. Um, yes. Or if you would rather have one that or something like that. That reports on Tuesday. Good for you. I don't want it now. Okay. So that's it. Um, so if you're done um, and you weren't planning on sticking around for another hour, after class being like 5 o'clock, an hour 20 now, thank you for coming. I hope you dug scratching around, pulling apart some merchants and seeing me. Anything even in his so stomach. No, not really. Right? So, um, what we, uh, you can actually see a little bit of the gill. So that, that's what this sort of bubbly, greasy looking thing is. Those are his gills. That's why it's very difficult to see them at all. Um, but because this guy is going to go on Ella, check it out. Uh, well, we just had a big. There's a. Anyone? I have some here. Just make sure you keep them. And I'll be happy to start making some rotations. You do a good job. He is good. Who would like those are purple urchins? These are red urchins. They coexist in much and overlap in a great deal of their habitat out there. The reds are larger in size. Um, otherwise, to the extent that we're exploring their anatomy, they are virtually identical. Oh, was there of these inside it? Something may have happened to it, some trauma, some disease. It may not have five. If that's the case, certainly let us know. Um, because we'd be interested in making sure that we should note that um, in our metadata that we're collecting for this. I find this gonad and I'm able to separate it nice and cleanly, put it on a tray. If I've got a little bit of gut content on there, I'll make sure that I get all those little bits off. So now, I've got an open urchin, I've got a little bit of water in here. I can drain that water out so that I can keep my work surface kind of clean. Oh, some of the guts are already falling out, that's good by me too. I'll make it rain little bits of algae into this bowl. Now I'm getting a better look around the inside of this organism. I can grab some more guts, give it a fling, and Sabrina's working with a tough one over there that, or the last one that she had, and it, did, it was all messed up inside and diseased, and it had tiny little gonads that you couldn't really see. 